ultimately Christ glorifies sinners when, uh, when after death uh, we are raised to be with Him, and even our bodies will be raised to be, to be glorified. And 1 Corinthians 15 speaks of that, that the body will be uh, sown perishable but raised imperishable, will be sown in, in dishonor, raised in honor. This inglorious body that, that gets sick and ultimately dies, this body that is still corrupted by sin, won't be that way for eternity, but it will be raised and it will be glorified. We don't know, John says, exactly what that looks like, but we will be like Christ in some way when he glorifies sinners in his presence in eternity. Uh, but even now, Christ is glorifying his people. The Apostle Paul can speak of, of glory in Romans 8 when he speaks of, of God having not only chosen us and predestined us and justified us, he also speaks in the past tense of God having glorified us. Uh, and, and again, it's, it's a veiled glory uh, because again, we're trapped in these bodies. We still struggle with sin. With, with a myriad of, of problems and difficulties, and yet still there is glory because of our union with Christ, because of the Holy Spirit in us. And even now, Christ is glorifying His people, purifying us, preparing us for that day when He will ultimately bring us into His glory. We will share in that glory.